Hi everybody, this is Chris from Toddler Thursday and this is our story time and today we were reading April Foolishness by Teresa Bateman. Now, and this is a really, really funny story. Life on the farm keeps a gal on her toes. That's what grandma thought as she flung on her clothes. She grinned for the grandkids had come for a stay and wouldn't you know it, they picked the right day. Grandpa, oh Grandpa, the cows are all got loose. I think Big Brown Bessie just stepped on a goose. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. Imagine, said Grandpa, good gracious, alas. <laughs> then he poured some milk in a tall frosty glass. Grandpa, oh Grandpa, the chickens are out. They're squawking and squabbling and racing about. Imagine, said Grandpa, amazing, oh my, as he popped some eggs into the skillet to fry. Grandpa, oh Grandpa, the pigs broke the gate. They're in the tomatoes, oh hurry, don't wait. Imagine, said Grandpa, I'm really quite shaken. He reached for the fridge and he got out the bacon. Grandpa, oh Grandpa, the goats are all freed. They're running around in a smelly stampede. Pew me. <laughs> Imagine, said Grandpa, it's really quite scary. Then he sliced the goat cheese that he brought from the dairy. Grandpa, oh Grandpa, the sheep are all gone. I heard that they're munching on somebody's lawn. Imagine, said Grandpa, I hope things get better. He opened the closet and got out a sweater. Grandpa, oh Grandpa, why won't you listen to me? The farm's going nuts. If you'd look, you would see. But Grandpa just grinned as he took out the bread and he popped in some toast for his breakfast instead. Then Grandma appeared. What a hubbubaloo! Who's causing this noise, the grandkids or you? It's nothing, said Grandpa. Ignore them, I say. They're trying to trick me. It's April Fool's Day. But honey, said Grandma, you'll find to your sorrow it's not April Fool's Day today, but tomorrow. Then Grandpa turned red and he gave out a roar. He sped through the kitchen and dashed out the door. Grandma just smiled as she pulled up a stool. She nibbled his toast and she called, April Fool's Day. I think Grandma and the kids got him, right? Yeah. Yeah, so what was your, what happened to you for April Fool's? Well, we, well Mom and Dad froze our cereal and they were like, what? And then, and then they told us and then we were like, and we just tried harder. And then they went, April Fool's! <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. Oh, that's that a good was April not Fool's. Nice. <laughs> I didn't really trick it. Oh, April Fool's is the best time because you get to play tricks on people in every we try to play a trick okay okay well thank you for joining us everybody and we'll <clears throat> see you the next time everybody say bye 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 bye, bye. that's the best book i've ever read